network architecture, with examples. 1. The user equipment, UE, initiates a request to connect to a 5G network by sending a radio resource control, RRC, connection request to the 5G base station or G node B, GNB. 1. This connection request includes information about the UE's identity and capabilities. Example, a person with a 5G enabled smartphone is in an area covered by a 5G network and wants to access the internet. They turn on their phone and select the 5G network from the list of available networks. The phone sends a connection request to the nearest GNB. 1. The GNB receives the connection request from the UE and sends an RRC connection setup message to the UE, indicating that it is ready to establish a connection. 1. The GNB also allocates radio resources to the UE for the duration of the connection. Example. The GNB receives the connection request from the smartphone and sends an RRC connection setup message to the phone, allocating radio resources for the duration of the connection. 1. The UE responds with an RRC connection setup complete message to the GNB, indicating that it has successfully established a connection and is ready to begin data transfer. Example, the smartphone sends an RRC connection setup complete message to the GNB, indicating that it is ready to begin data transfer. 1. The GNB sends a request to the Access and Mobility Management function AMF, in the 5G core network to establish a connection with the UE. 1. The AMF is responsible for managing the UE's mobility and controlling access to the network. Example, the GNB sends a request to the AMF to establish a connection with the smartphone. 1. The AMF authenticates the UE and authorizes it to access the network. 1. It also assigns a unique temporary identifier to the UE, known as the Temporary Mobile Subscriber Identity TMSI. Example, the AMF authenticates the smartphone, authorizes it to access the network, and assigns a TMSI to the phone. 1. The AMF sends a request to the Mobility Management Entity MME, to assign a serving gateway SGW, to the UE. 1. The SGW is responsible for routing data packets between the UE and the Packet Data Network PDN. Example, the AMF sends a request to the MME to assign an SGW to the smartphone. 1. The MME assigns an SGW to the UE and sends a message to the GNB indicating which SGW has been assigned. 1. The GNB then forwards this information to the UE. Example, the MME assigns an SGW to the smartphone and sends a message to the GNB indicating which SGW has been assigned. The GNB then forwards this information to the smartphone. 1. The UE sends a request to the SGW to establish a connection with the PDN. 1. The SGW forwards this request to the Packet Data Network Gateway PGW, which provides connectivity to external networks such as the Internet. Example, the smartphone sends a request to the SGW to establish a connection with the Internet. 1. The PGW authenticates the UE and assigns an IP address to the UE for the duration of the connection. Example, the PGW authenticates the smartphone and assigns an IP address to the phone for the duration of the connection. 1. Data packets are transmitted between the UE and the PDN via the GNB, SGW, and PGW. 1. The quality of service COS, policies are enforced by the user plane function UPF, which is responsible for forwarding data packets between the UE and the PDN. Example, the smartphone sends data packets to the internet.